Peace, vandals and vandalettes. It's the God Mathematics, and you now listening and watching the Vandal Hour Season 7 live on S Street Media. Make sure you check us out on all our social media platforms, and that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, all them joints. Um, if you want to watch or listen to an old episode, you could go to anchor.fm, which is the link in our bio um, for the Vandu Hour, or you could go to Spotify or to our YouTube page at S Street Media. We need the support. Make sure you check out our website at www sstreetmedia.net that's the new joint we also have an old website which is still official at www.sstreetmedia.info um check out all the old episodes we got a lot of dope vandal hour episodes this is our seventh season um i just interviewed funk last night i interviewed niso stem joust um many um dope graph writers in the game and we also do the vandal hour exclusives where we talk to people like um our guests today and um we just interviewed e sinatra um broadway apple um Akinelli, um a whole lot of other people so make sure you check out all them joints on anchor.fm or spotify or on our youtube page um i also like to uh um give a road call or shout out to all the brothers that came before me um that helped me get to this point that i'm at now with the vandal hour and let me um shout out brat giggles greaseball j-lo mathematics facts on wax east and june 457 sosa drake kills break on the bring that back dude dj quest mr 13 buy it three reps guests dj swift dj ea darwin queens um the lovely paris my cousin Justice, my cousin um, Chris, and Little Bit. Those are all the people that preceded me and did what I'm doing right now. Shout out to them for helping me to get to this point that I'm at now. Um, tonight is, in a, is a Vandu Hour exclusive. Let me say this. We have a person that is truly doing what he do. You know what I mean? He is... Hip hop, you know, this is a this is more than graffiti. This is a hip hop show. Um, so we also like to bring you up and coming um and veteran MCs. But tonight I have a person who is representing my hood. So you know when I represent my when I'm bringing people from my hood, it is for a reason. And that's Wandsburg Projects. If you don't know, this person is putting in a lot of work. He has been touring. He has opened up for big name people. He's about to open up for um, Little TJ, if I'm not mistaken, coming up. He done um um did shows with ABG Neil and a whole lot of other um MCs. Um big names and now it's his time this is the wandsburg native son so it is my pleasure and the vandal hours pleasure to introduce to y'all p s three <laughs> peace young god how you doing yeah what's going on yo um you know good. how you doing i'm good man I'm I'm glad to be talking to you, man. You know you, you put a lot of work in right now. You are the future yes, of hip hop. You know what I mean? I'm gonna say that you are the future of hip hop. I've been in your studio sessions. You are not on this show because of nepotism. You are on this show because you put in a lot of work. That's the reason why you're yes, here. Yes. Glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Yo, so I appreciate that, man. Um, you know we don't have Butter Nano on. We don't have Scotty. So I definitely like to have our people, you know, I like to push what we what what we got going on in Wandsburg or Wams Swerve, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um we're going to get into that song that you got um that, that I was there for, that you recorded that's going to be very big this summer. We're not going to get into that right now, but um right. let's get into you. For the people who 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 don't know who PS3 is, you know what I mean? Um you know what was you doing before you was doing music, man? Because I know you was in, involved in a lot of things, man. Well, for the people that don't know me before music, I was just I was just a regular neighborhood kid. Go to school, 
play basketball, play sports. I was bored of life before the music stuff. Um, Other than that, that, I was just I was just that I was just that kid. Everybody know everybody just hang around. Your basketball, you saying the basketball thing, like, I know you was really busting ass, pause, in this basketball thing. Um, You know, how long did yes, you play yes. ball I for? Uh, at first, when I, when, I, when I first started coming outside of Williamsburg, I used to um, play baseball at first. But I think, I think I was about, like, 10 years old. All the other kids... Which my brothers now though, all the other kids they was playing basketball, so I just had to adjust. So when I was about maybe ten, nine, I, I started playing basketball, got into my first tournament, the Williamsburg basketball tournament. Did you bust ass that year? I went crazy that year, yep. I know you did. They knew me after that summer. I know you did. Um, you know, how long did you continue doing the ball thing before you got to the music? I mean, how long? Uh, like I was saying, I was ballless life before before music. So since then, all the way into high school, I graduated high school. Uh, uh, high school athlete played on the varsity basketball team. All right, and um, I'm gonna say this: congratulations for going to college. You are also in college. What school you go to? Oh yes, of course. I go to Virginia Union University. Right now, I'm, I'm getting into my senior year, majoring in communication. Oh, you, yeah, thank you, thank you. You're supposed to be doing what I'm doing um, at, um, outside of the music also. You know I know. Definitely. But, yeah, I'm majoring in communication. So, hopefully, I could do some of the stuff that you do. You know how you, you, know, you, know how you do already. You got Jimmy. all the podcasts set up. You, got, you get the events going. You get it all. You, you you network. That's what I'm going to school for right now. Get a lot of stuff started. But in order, you know, I want to have my own business, of course. That's a I fact. Want to be the boss. <laughs> That's a fact. And and you know, um, you know, you already on the right path to doing that. You know, I know. So you yeah. know. So now, PS3 is born. How did first of all? How did you come up with the name PS3? Why you chose that? This this one of the most asked questions ever. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, when I was playing basketball, you know, the PS comes from my initials and the number three comes from my basketball jersey number. But I was about maybe tenth grade. Everybody was having cool names like KB and CP3 and all that. So it kind of brainstormed Chris Paul. So I took the CP3 and just made it PS3. And then at first, nah, it wasn't clicking. But then that next year, I was having a great season. So everybody just started calling me that. And they basically called me that because I was a three-point shooter, knockdown shooter. So that's where the, the, the three come from, two and three is in my jersey number and the initials PS. So PS3, then I just stuck with me. And then joking around in the classroom, making songs, making comedy songs, <laughs> tracks that y'all probably never going to hear because they, I took them down. <laughs> what kind? What kind? Of, what kind? Of, what kind of songs again? They was like they was like jokes, like comedy songs. Like I was just saying a bunch of stupid stuff about like people in school and stuff like that. <laughs> like I was just clowning everybody. So so then shortly after that, after I made that, the whole school was singing it. You know, big joke, and then. I told myself, like, yo, I'm going to try to make a real song. And that's what I did. And the song the song was decent. And people, you know, people supported me anyway. And then that's when it came. I said, yo, I need a rap name, though. And they and they was telling me, yo, just keep PS3. So I kept it. And that's how I ended up with PS3. Yo, when you when you was young, um, what was your favorite um, rap song, like, before the before you was doing music? But I didn't. I didn't even really listen to to much rap. I used to listen to basically everything my mom played. She used to play the R and B and stuff. But coming up, I used to listen to a lot of um, a lot of Chris Brown. Chris Brown used to go crazy, and then a lot of a lot of old 
old things like Elder Balls and stuff like that. And when I start, when I started getting into music, I saw bumping speaker knockers and little Snoop heavy. So that was when, because usually I just listen to music when it's playing. But when I discovered those two artists, that was when I was just going down to just listen to their songs only and just listen to their style. What was it that 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 made you connect to them? What made me connect to them was they were they were they was young, real young. And they were saying like some relatable stuff. They they wasn't going off about things that wasn't really happening. It's like I just felt like they was real and they was they wasn't and they came from like they came from like nothing. So that's how I liked them so much and they were just raw with it. Like they were just saying whatever came to their mind, whatever they felt they need to get off their chest and I like that. That's why I listen to them most of the time. So now you're 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 um making serious music. You transition. You're not making no more comedy stuff. You 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 feel that you want to go in a in a in a in a in a real direction with the music. What's the first song that you make? The first song that I made was a song called Not Enough. And I think it's on SoundCloud. It may or may not be, but that was the first song I made. And the song basically about just getting everything, but saying it's not enough. Basically, like, I need more. So everything that I was getting, I just needed more. And one thing, one thing I love about that song was I had said something about Yeezys, and and I didn't have a pair of Yeezys at the time, but I always wanted some Yeezys, so I put it in the song, and I told myself, I, I put it in the song, I can't drop the song until I get some Yeezys. So when I got some Yeezys, finally, I ended up dropping that. <laughs> yeah, how, did, how, so did, so how, be, how did the people react to it? They were, yo, that was, they, were, they, were type, they were typing me up. And they were telling me drop more, go to the studio, don't do it, don't do it in your room. So that was when I was like, I right, I might be going somewhere. Yo, when I when I listen to your music, man, I'm I'm gonna be serious with you, man. And I I tell your pops all the time. Um, when I first when I first heard your music, man, I was very surprised. It was good. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going not not to not to disrespect you, but I, I, I didn't I didn't know you did music. So to hear the the first song, which I believe it was Talk or Text, um, I was really like, oh, oh yeah, text a call, text a call. call. So I was like, oh shit, yeah. you know, young boy got something. So I'm not going to lie to you. I tell your pops all the time when I seen you, my mind was like, let me let me work with this young this young boy, man, because I didn't know that um, your pops did that type of stuff. So I'm like, yo, yeah. I see you as, you know, maybe the future of Wandsburg. I always like to keep the, my my hand on the pulse mm -hmm. of what's coming out of Wandsburg. And I'm like, yo, I will put energy behind what he's doing. So I knew that you was, from the, from the first song I heard, you were serious. Um, and, and then now hearing your music after that is, is very now. I must say that it's very now. But... You definitely have the it factor. Um, describe your sound to a person who hasn't heard your music, you know what I mean, to our audience. Um, man, my style, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell you what, what they say, and I'm going to tell you what I say. So, so basically, everybody in... Everybody, my well, most of my friends, they make jokes. They be like, "Oh, you just think about girls. Oh, you heartbroken and this and that." I tell them, I, I say they can call it what they want, but I'm not gonna limit myself. Style. I'm gonna say about my style. My style is whatever is happening at the moment. That's what I gotta speak on. So if I was going through the times like that, then I gotta speak on that. So it's basically my life. That's my style. I'm not trying to. I'm not really trying to make music for people. I'm not trying to like copy people. I'm just trying to do say what I need to say, get things off my chest, and if people could relate to that, then that's good. That's my style. My style is just to tell my story. 
Mm. So, so the music changes depending on your temperature that day. Yes, it depends. It depends on the mood. Um, you know, when I hear your 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 music, um, it definitely it definitely is um what's happening right now, and mm -hmm. your spin to it is very unique um when you listen to um music um right now these days who are you listening to or are you listening to anyone else yeah all the um all the hot all the hot the hot young artists right now um i was listening to all, all, the, all the new york artists i got the um show coming up with little tj i listen to his music a Boogie, I listen to Polo G, all, all, the, all the young people really, all, all the young people around my age, 20, 22, around there, that's what I like to listen to the most, because I feel like it's more relatable since we're around the same age and we probably going through the same stuff right now. You know, I listen to Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich right now has kind of got my ear right now. Um, oh yeah, Roddy. Oh yeah, definitely. I I listen to um to all them tapes. Yeah, I, de I definitely like what he's doing right now. He's one of my for the new for the newer artists. Um, be, be, besides right. Griselda, I'm a Griselda fan. I'm not gonna lie to you, God. But um, outside <laughs> of outside of Griselda, I definitely feel what um Roddy Rich is coming with right now. He's he's is definitely it's melodic, true. you know. Um, he's talking about it's the struggle. Too, too it's too much to name, but I'm, I definitely got like like everybody in there. Um, you know, since that you coming from Williamsburg, and you know, um, you're you're definitely you're definitely outside. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna say that in a negative way, but you're definitely outside. Um, do you you and your your, your friends have have ciphers? Do ciphers still exist these days? Do you know what a cipher is? Yeah. Do that still exist these ciphers? days? Yeah. Uh, we used to. Now, now we don't. We don't got ciphers. We just before when we was a little younger. We used to do like two balls and the next person, two balls and the next person. But it used to be just jokes and stuff, you know. But nowadays, actually, my guy solely. He he doing his thing in the music thing right now. He doing his thing coming up. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring him with me. My guy Soli, he got the little studio set up. So he come over sometimes and we try to just make some songs. We try to collab. That's what we do right now more than cipher. We just try to make a track together and stuff like that. Yeah, I I, I posted Soli on our S Street Media page today. His his song um with the SpongeBob character in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, um, for the people who don't know Soli, what's his Instagram? Uh, do you know his Instagram? Instagram? Yeah, his, his Instagram is at 50 Yeah, the God got some shit, man. He remind me of like a modern day, like, tribe called Questish. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, in, for your time, he's definitely in like a tribe called Quest Zone. Um, speaking that you're working, to, speaking that of you're working together, um, I know you're both part of Get Fed Records. Talk to me about Get Fed Records. Talk to our audience about Get Fed Records. All right, boy, we're going to get into that right now. Basically, I was making music and all that, and my pops always, you know, he dip in, he, he, he dip out, he, you know, he's trying to hear something, you feel me? And it was a, it was a time, this is when I took music seriously, when I made text a call, and I played it in front of a couple of people, and they had a whole different approach about how they like my music now, before I made that first song, and they was telling me, yo, you got to copy right here, you got to do this, you got to do that. Even my mom liked it, so that's when I knew that was a, a great song, and that's when I knew I needed to do the music stuff. So when I played it to him, he said, yo, you serious? And I said, yeah, I'm serious. This is what I'm going to do. And he said, are you really going to do it? And then I told him, yeah, 
really gonna do it. And from then on, he did everything he can. He was, you know, he read up on some stuff. He was networking. He went dipping and dabbing into everything. Got his hands and everything. He learned a lot on his own. And then he came up with that. Just say. Who's some of the people that's a part of um, part of that outside of yourself and solely? Um, it's a lot of we the only artists, but I know it's a lot of behind the scenes work going on with his associates. I'm not too much into into the um of how how everything runs though. Mm, I got you, I got you. Um, but I, I I definitely make sure you check out Get Fed Records. They are on Instagram. Um, you know, your music is everywhere. I see it on different platforms. What platform are you focusing on right now? What, what's where, like, where are you putting your energy platform wise? Um, when it comes to your music, uh, basically, I want to just put music out that people could. That, that they could relate to, that they gonna want to play over and over again, of course. And but right now, though, for coming up this summer, I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna club banger. You feel me? I wanna make a a song that that gotta get this. I gotta get some radio spins. I gotta blow up. I gotta get a song like that right now. That's my energy and music right now. So major, major platform then. Yes, yes, major platform. Um, these days, you know, man. Pardon me. Say what you're gonna say, God. Pardon me for cutting you. And 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 we planning on playing everything on all platforms. Um, all music platforms, Sound Apple, Spotify, everything. SoundCloud. Um, where is most of your music at right now? It's on SoundCloud. You can catch me on SoundCloud at PS3. I should pop up. You got serious numbers. I'm not gonna lie to you. What, what's your what's your um big song and how much? Uh, what's the streams on it? My biggest song is Texas Call, and I got about, hmm, what, what can I say, maybe maybe K, or maybe a monster hit maybe K. It, it just, maybe, uh, um, what you call it, it just cut, Um, your phone just went out a little bit. Say that again. I said Texas Call is my top song, and I got, I'm, I'm looking at it right now, I got, I got 92K. Wow. Wow! Almost at hundred k. That was a big. Like, that was a, That's my biggest song. And other songs than that, I got about fifteen k, thirteen k consistently. What is Texaco all about? Texaco. That song is about. It's about basically like. It's about a girl, and I just like went through some you know ups and downs and all that. Went to a real down fellow, and then I made a song just wondering why she ain't never to call me. You feel me like that? And and I want to say this: the reaction has been major. Definitely, definitely. That's the song that that connected me connected me to you. That's how uh, my son, who was also a friend of yours, shout out to Easy, aka Elias. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, he's the one that put me on to that song. Um, actually, two people put me on to the song. Ryan, shout out to Ryan, was the first person mm -hmm. to play me the song. And then probably a month later, Easy played the song for me. And I'm like, oh, shit. I said, all right. He, he he's is, 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 is definitely getting around. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's definitely getting some traction on it, you know? Um mm -hmm. As a young as a young artist coming up, man, um, you know times have have changed. Back in my time, everybody was trying to get a record deal. Everybody was trying to sign to this shit or that shit, but um, and getting jerked while doing that. But these days, you know, young artists now could have control over their over their music. They could get more money from it. Are you going more the independent route these days? Definitely. Definitely, we're going to stay independent for now, but, you know, of course, like anyone else will do, if the numbers is right, then, then I will be there. You got to be careful, man, because sometimes the numbers be right in the, in, in, in the you know, it's and the, con the contract he, don't be right. Yeah. 
Like they they give you a million, but your shit really worth thirty million. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's 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 the you know when I, I'm gonna give you an example when I when I look at these these people who release their own music like the Little Pumps and the uh, and the Griseldas and all that shit. These dudes is getting the bulk of their money, man. You know what I mean? They getting the bulk of their money. A lot of times you got people like Little Uzi, they ready to kill themselves because they signed so quick and now they like, like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Stuck. And then they turn and then they turn into industry slave. You understand. So you know, um the power is definitely these days and in independence. Um you know before this COVID shit you was performing in a lot of different places. What's some of the um, venues and or states and places you've been around performing your music? Definitely, we 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 went to a couple of different states. We went on tour with Jay Guapo and AZ Nail. Uh, I think we went on tour with AZ Nail twice, but we hit up um, we hit up New York, of course. One of them was in Brooklyn too. That was a good one. That was a great show. We went to Connecticut a few times, the State House in Connecticut. We was there. We went to Boston, and it's a and it's a couple other locations like Philly. You know that we didn't get to get to because things happened, but we definitely will be there next time though on the next tour or wherever we gonna be there. We try not to miss anything now. Yo, um, earlier in the. You know, when we first started talking, we was talking about that song, Club Berg. Yes, yes, Club Berg. Pull up the Club Berg. Basically, and I and I know you know you're planning on going back on the road and doing what you do in Ju- um, June, July. Um, will you be performing that song? Of course. What's your plans um, to do with what's the what's your plans to do to do with that song? What what should we be expecting from Club Berg? Club Berg, you could expect a music video. That's all for it. You could expect it on all platforms, so you stay tuned, it's gonna be on all platforms. And if you come to any one of my shows, we will be I will be performing it. I actually performed it already. Get out of here. I'm so serious. I'm, I made this. I made the song, and where did I go? I went to. I think you went to Boston. Boston. Cause you had the sweater yeah. on. You had the sweater on. Thank, shot, thank you for wearing Definitely. my WB sweater, God. Oh yeah, of course. I, I try. I try to wear. I try to wear my people's stuff all the time. I just try to keep every all my people connected. You feel me? I, I appreciate I, I, that. I, I wear. I wear. I wore that. I wear the um. UPS, shout out my guy, Ricky Jessen. I wear a lot of UPS gear all the time. Yeah, so shout out. Shout, I just shout, like to do. shout out to my little cousin, man, who's doing his thing, man. Um, but you know, he got the clothing stuff going on. Shout out to him, man. Big Rocco, shout out to him. Um, and you know, you got a few of my family members around you. It's crazy. <laughs> of course. That's crazy. That's 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 how it's supposed to be. But um, you know, what are you trying to accomplish, man, with this music industry? What is your plans? What what, what where do you see yourself um in the next year or two? In the next year or two, I should I should be up there where I establish a lane and I establish a lane for myself. So like when they when when you say PS3, they know like, oh yeah, PS3, yeah, we know him. That's 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 what I'm that's what I'm looking forward to with, within these next two years. And on top of that, that's very that's very important to me too, because it's like, cause then it's like if I don't do that, if I don't get get like, if I don't grow. It's feel like it's all for nothing. So that's also a big goal to just grow, even if it's a little bit, just grow and get bigger. That's a fact. Who are some of the producers you um you you've worked with or plan to be working with? I worked hmm, mostly just just YouTube beats for now. But when this one this one producer I worked with, 
my guy Blaze, Blaze Studio, shout out to him. We worked we worked on the beat and that song it never got finished, but upcoming we gon we gonna lay some stuff down. I already see it happening. For our audience who doesn't understand um the YouTube beat when you said that, what do you actually mean by um, a YouTube B, because you know my mo most of my audience, um, we do have. Let me just say this: my audience is from eighteen to um, seventy, but the heart of it, <laughs> yeah, the heart of it is like thirty-five plus. So for us thirty-five plus dudes, um, what do you mean by getting your beats from a YouTube B? So basically, a YouTube B, it consists of any any online producer just posting his beats on YouTube for anyone to use them, either for free or they put them up there to be bought. So I just search up type beats and then find a beat that I like, and then I can lease it right there. Yeah, that's the new part of the game that a lot of people don't know about. That's why I needed you to explain that. Definitely. Matter of fact, you know, I had a whole section of this Van Hour episode where, you know, since our um, most of our audience is older, you know what I mean? I, I needed you to do some explaining to us because we're, we are, you know, I'm, I'm 43, you know what I mean? Most of my most of my friends is in the same category, you know? But um, so explain to me and our audience what cloud is. Say that one more time. Explain to our audience what clout is. <laughs> clout. They do anything for clout. They they kill for clout. They <laughs> they do it all. But clout basically, I'm not even sure where it originated from. Maybe Chicago, I think, because I remember some of those rappers used to say it. But clout is basically like, like it's like it's like your your rep, like it's like your your credit, your rep. So basically. If you got clout, like you got, you got the juice, basically. Mm. Mm. I got you. I, I know, got you. I, I know y'all. I know y'all know that word. You feel me? I got <laughs> you. That's that. That was yeah. That was that was exact. That was the best way to throw it out there too. I I got you completely. Here's another yeah. one for you. Explain to our audience, our van to our audience that's 35 and older. No disrespect to the older ones, and no disrespect to our younger ones. But we have a younger brother on here. Tell me what's trolling. Well, somebody accused me of trolling today, man, and I and I and I, and I don't troll, but somebody accused me of trolling. They said you was trolling. Yeah, I was. I got into I got into a beef with a, a, a Instagram account, and um, the, the, it's a, a powerful account. Don't want to get them no shine, but I got into a real mm -hmm. real ill debate with some racist people i'm not going to get them no clout or get them any power i still love all those people that are part of that race but um yeah um they caught they accused me of trolling what is trolling all right trolling is basically you like you making jokes like you insulting people you you being a clown like you but you're doing it purposely though like to get people mad like you, like you trying to you trying to start stuff like you just making jokes trying to start stuff that's, over that's the crazy i wasn't doing that god i'm not gonna lie to you they said some crazy shit i responded and they started like niggas was were, nigga, um this was the asian community no disrespect to the asian community because i have a whole lot of asian peoples that i fuck with but yeah it was an asian page and they started bombarding me when i tell you bombarding me <laughs> they said some shit they said some sh shit that was crazy I, I i said something towards them not even no disrespectful way and when i tell you about like 30 um People was on me on this Instagram that I had to block both of their accounts, the the backup account. <laughs> I had to back up, I had to block 30 people <laughs> that I responded to. Oh. <laughs> and then dudes was trying to get on my page, everything. I said, oh my God. I wasn't even you know, when I say I'm not even on that type of time, I really am not on that type of time. Um so I I, I said, let me find out what trolling is maybe maybe i was doing it and didn't know i was doing it but i definitely now hearing you respond i definitely wasn't doing it um you know let's talk about wayansburg real quick you have a friend 
that is 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 doing his thing right now um making a lot of newspapers um i seen you was one of the people that actually um did the video um um your man larry oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, oh my god. Let's like talk he's Larry. Let's talk yeah, let's talk about him. What's his name? What's his, his nickname again? Like Cheese. Big Cheese. La all right, Larry. Um what how did he figure out do you know when did it, this trick shit happen? Like how did he figure out he could throw a ball? You know, from one side of the thing to the other side of the fucking court and make shots like it's nothing. When did he figure this one out? <laughs> a long, a long time ago, when when we was when we was on the same team together in high school, he used to do a bunch of that stuff during practice. That is crazy, man. Um. He is making, shout out to Larry, man. He's getting a lot of attention. Me and Sinatra talked about him also. Um, he is doing his thing, man. If you speak to him, tell him, man, I need to get an interview with him also, man, because I, I, I love that y'all are representing Wandsburg to the fullest, man, and I respect that. Um, um, before we um, close out, um, I want to ask you about this drill music. Cause this drill music is is taking over the world. It's, it's yeah, big. It's doing its thing right now. Club Berg is a, is is kind of in it over a, a drill beat. Definitely. Talk to us about this drill music, man. For my audience, as I said, that may be thirty five and older. Talk to me. You know, give me some. Put me into the space of what drill music is, man. Like what it is and. Who's some of the artists that's doing it right now? So, a lot of um, drill beats right now that um, it's artists like hmm, Pop Pop Smoke, rest in peace, and he he got a lot of drill beats, most definitely. Uh, a lot of New York artists doing drill beats right now. Um, Fabio, mm -hmm, Fabio Four, and. Yeah, those those are like when you hear it, those beats, those are a drill beats. And what the beat does, it got like a it's upbeat and it's a hard bass. So like you can actually like feel the beat, you can feel the music, and mm -hmm. it's just you it just used to get everybody moving and excited and bouncing and dancing. That's what the drill beat is used for. Um, where did the drill drill where it actually came from? Like, who was the first? Who you think it was the, like some of the first people that was doing it? Just to help me out. Um, Chief Chief Keith and them in Chicago, they started the the drill rap first, and then you know it slowed down a little bit, and then New York they picked it back up, and then they picked up. Uh, they did. They, you know, you know, you gotta throw, you know, you gotta throw your your swag on it, your drip on it. Mm. So it came to New York, and I'm not even sure who was some of the first to do it. And when it came back over here, but I know a lot of people, a lot of New York artists, they 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 on drill beats and they they killing it too. They doing their thing on them. So shout out to all of them. Um, you know, when I when I, when I think of the um you know drill music definitely you know the most recognizable person that for us for my generation would be the pop smoke song is definitely like the the great a great yeah. representation of what drill music is um it's it, it's 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 more it's not a rapid when a a person a person is 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 rhyming it's not a rapid thing it's kind of they say something feel the beat say something feel the beat type of thing you know definitely um it's definitely the new sound um that's out right now um when if if when i'm when i'm listen to imagine when ps3 drops his first real album and i'm going to be hearing a lot of drill beats um um drill music what should i be you know, looking for forward to what I'm gonna be listening to when I listen to PS3 first album. So for a PS3 first album, you're gonna you should be expecting 
maybe maybe one or two or three drill beats, a couple drill songs maybe. But I know a lot of people they they want to hear they want to hear like more classics, more more Texacore kind of kind of songs and stuff like that. So you're gonna hear some of those type of songs, and I got I got some some other music that I've been working on. It's a it's a little step out, not too much of a big step, but I'm gonna keep it, and I'm gonna just I'm a leader. I'm a leader. Of girls alone. I'm gonna just talk about like other life problems and other stuff like that. So you should look look forward to seeing that and hearing that. Mm. Um. Do you have any ideas of what you're gonna name it? Uh. The the the, the label. Always ask me, always ask me some names and stuff like that. I'm <laughs> throw, out, throw out some terrible. names for me. Throw out some names. Throw out three names for me. I am terrible at names. <laughs> oh man, I usually let people name it. Like whoever in the studio with me, and when and I finish the song, I'll be like, "Yo, name it for me." That's what I like to do. But an album, come on now. That's that's a, that's not just a regular song name. That's a, that's bigger than that. A song name, it's an album name. Uh, maybe, um, and I got no gonna, idea. You, you know, this is what we're going to do. You, this is what we're going to do. Cause you know, this is not going to be your only interview. You're dropping new music. I'm dropping your, your mixtape soon. So this is a, just the beginning. You know, we're going to do, we're going to have a real face to face um interview the reason why i've been doing these type of interviews because you know i'm just trying to introduce a lot of people to to new content new people you know what i mean um it's a new i'm trying to do a whole season within like a month uh -huh. you know what i mean so i'm going to interview a lot of the guests again um face to face but for this what's going on right now i know people are in the crib so i want to give them you know introduce them to new people i want to also you know I'm, this show is a graffiti show so we like to talk our graph shit we, we need we need more graph content for the graph writers so i'm just banging them heavy 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 this way content um you know i, I appreciate you man um you know, taking out time out your evening to to build with the with the um older guard, and um I just want to oh, say yeah, no problem. I just want to say this. I, I I know that your head is on right, so you I need you to keep focus on your path. You know because um you have a def you definitely have a strong chance to be big i see you being big and um for the people who never heard of ps3 music he does a lot of music not all but a lot of music is for the ladies and you know when you do music for the women the you're going to get good sales women buy music men don't buy music women buy music always remember that tupac said you want to you you want to you want to get the guys to buy music you got to get the girls to buy it first you know what i mean because the guys always going to do what the girls is doing but I need I, I want you to keep doing what you do. You know what I mean? Keep representing for Wandsburg. Um where can on um, the people find your music? If they want to go listen to your music, um tell them exactly where to go to find to listen to your music. If you want to listen to my music, you wanna go on SoundCloud, type in PS3, you should see me pop up. You should go on YouTube and type in PS3, text the call, and then I should pop up and you can click my page from there is a couple songs up there and music videos up there. And if you want to catch me on Apple Music, same thing, PS3 text the call, and I'm going to pop up over there. And you will catch me on the grand at the real PS3. It's spelled, it's spelled, it's spelled correctly and everything. The real PS3, and that's where y'all can catch me at. I seen a nickname. Where the where the Brundy come from? I seen a name under the that, that's that's the nickname. Yeah, that, that that's the team. That's the game. Okay. The Bundy. Oh. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! My brother Mac Bundy. Give um you can shout um any people you want to give a shout out to um give a shout out to them um God. Let, let me give my shout outs. Then shout out to Gift Fight. Shout out to the Bundys. 
Jeff's fan, and the Light Cheese fan. Shout out to the Vandal Hour. I appreciate you. And, and Ash Street Media. I see you going far, God. Word is born. I see you going far, doing what you do. Um, I appreciate you for for building with the God for a little while. Uh, keep doing what you do. You know what I mean? Um, do you, before we end the show, have you ever looked at graffiti on the wall? Do anybody that you, you any names that you know? Did I do what? Have you ever seen any graffiti on the wall? Do you pay attention to any graffiti on the wall? Oh yeah, sometimes I see some. Yeah, that's what the show is about. You know what I mean? Any um any war that you ever seen? You ever seen any any mural, any war that you be like, yo, that's um that's fucking dope. Any spots you've been to that you seen like, oh shit, that shit is crazy right there. I haven't I haven't seen some in a little minute. What I have been seeing though, and I know this is exactly what it is. They painting over it. Mm. I see a lot of that. I see a lot of that. Some like a, like fresh coats over some graffiti on a brick wall. Cause I, I know I know they paint it over because it's white paint over a red brick wall, so I know they covering it up. Yeah, in the graffiti world, they call that the buff. That's what they call that in graffiti. <laughs> I gotta teach you some graffiti. One, one graffiti term that is called the buff, and we don't like the buff. Thank you, God, for hanging out with the 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 older guard tonight. Um. Um, send me some, um, send me three pictures so I can advertise this for tonight. I need you to go hard with this um, for me. You heard? No problem. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate sure to put it out there. Yeah, I appreciate you. I, we're gonna have a, a face to face um interview when that mixtape drop. Um, oh, make, yeah, definitely. make sure you pull up to the station. Um, Real quick, shout out to everyone who's listening to the Van Duwawa. Shout out to everyone who supports the Van Duwawa. Without y'all, there'd be no us. Make sure you check this out, this episode, in about a half an hour on YouTube. Or you go to Spotify, man, and just put the Van Duwawa in. And you'll definitely see all our old episodes. Go to S Street Media on YouTube. Um, thank you for all the support. Um, before we end the night, today's mathematics is wisdom guard or being born to born. Today's mathematics is wisdom guard or being born to born. You must go through the wisdom guard to bring something out new god to bring out something to birth something new and great you got to go through the wisdom and wisdom is the ways and actions wise ways wise words spoken by by um spoken by the wise man or just with your ways and actions when you move godly you'll be received godly they treat you godly and um that's how you born a good and great existence Thank you. Y'all have a good night. I'm Mathematics, and we are the Vanduawa. Peace.